Today, we celebrate the Feast of the Baptism of the Lord. In the liturgical calendar, it signifies the end of Christmas season. The Baptism of the Lord also marks the beginning of Jesus' ministry and confirms His identity as the Son of God. Hello, dear friends. The Lord bless you, and may His peace be upon you and your loved ones. I'm Sister Rejoy for today's Gospel Power. John the Baptist proclaimed, The one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved. With you I am well pleased. Only Mark describes the heavens as torn apart at Jesus' baptism. The same verb will be used again to describe what happens to the curtain of the temple when Jesus dies. It is torn apart from top to bottom. Mark creates a strong connection between baptism that opens Jesus' ministry as Messiah and death that brings it to a close. Two other features of both events bind them closely together. One is the affirmation of Jesus' divine sonship by the voice from heaven at his baptism who says, You are my son, the beloved. And by the Roman centurion at his death who says, Truly, this man was God's son. Also in both events, something descends, the spirit like a dove at Jesus' baptism and the top-to-bottom tearing of the temple curtain at his death. Thus, from the beginning of Jesus' ministry, the shadow of death already loomed over him. But the love of the Father and the gentle power of the Spirit were also constantly present to sustain him. And so death did not result in tragedy, but in glory. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, Baptized into your death and resurrection, we become new creatures. Thank you for the gift of baptism. Amen.